Hello everyone, welcome back to another showcase on Dark Souls 3. Now, if you want to get a little primal with this, and you don't want to play Far Cry, well, you should play Far Cry Primal. <laughs> if you want to get to go that direction, it's a much better idea than what you can have in Dark Souls. That said, some weapons here are fairly basic. Well, how basic? Well, I can't write any more jokes on this. It's a effing club. The caveman's club. You know, the wooden, the wooden lump, or, you know, how can I word this easily? It's a lump of wood. You bash someone in the head with it. <laughs> uh, the description of this club reads, A simple wooden club, kept categorized by savage leaping attacks. This crude blatant strike weapon is effective against most foes. It can break the guard of a shield, which will definitely be testing. The skill is the Warcry. Let out a spirit of Warcry to temporarily boost attack and enables, yep, enables a special consecutive strong attack. Alright. Soul Club. Of all the swords, greatsword, teleports, ultra greatswords, you choose a club. Beyond me. Visually, well, you gotta love the, um, the art of detail here. First, they took the Dark Oak of the Time and characterized its shape by various guys. This is a fucking wooden club. <laughs> I can't pretend that. I can't pretend to, to, give a f to give two shits about the detail of a wooden club. Back then, you made a wooden club with what you had. Chances are it's a bunch of sharp rocks. Maybe. <laughs> Or maybe you found the wooden club as it is. The caveman picked it up, scratched his head, then got the bright idea that it's pretty hefty and he can whack someone in the back of the head with it. <laughs> Moving on to the stats of the club. Physically, well, it's the average damage. Should have done this weapon earlier, yes, but I didn't quite forget about it. Yeah, I forgot about it. Anyhow, bonus damage is alright for that weapon too. The trivia bonus, we only got to see for strength. Then again, should we really be surprised by this? Are we surprised by the trivia requirements only being 10 strength and nothing else? You mean a weapon of very crude nature doesn't even need dexterity? I guess not. Next is the War Cry, which is costing 20 FP like any does for any of the axe weapons. No, I'm not surprised that the club has it. And weight is 2.5. It has to have weight, because it's going to be hefty at the tip when you bash someone's head in. See, so yeah, it's a very primitive weapon, but can it work in a way of sophisticated weapons like Dark Souls? Well, let's find out. The animations of the club are unique, actually. The basic attack is the clubbing attack. I can't really word that simpler. <laughs> Power attack, you got that leaping savage attack, as they mentioned earlier. Very distinctive. Some weapons have that, but not many. In a two-handed basic attack, you once again got the clubbing, especially effective at the back of the head. Two-handed power attack, you got more savage blows. Pretty much the same idea, just two-handed. Now, for a rolling attack, you got the basic attack with a very quick club. And the strong attack, you got a very heavy club. And of course, you got the war cry. Visually, it appears here, and when it is active, it does change your power attack. Or your, yep, your strong attack is what I meant. You see you have several savage strikes. And the sprint attack is no surprise, a quick club to the back of the head. So you upgrade the weapon, you, take, you don't reforge, you can't reforge wood, whatever. It takes Tate Knight shards. And going forward we can see it has a decent upgrade. Generally between 10 and 11 for bonus and same thing goes for the basic game. We can see the strength Tree bonus goes to a B, which is nice, I guess. I guess. So, with the performance of this weapon, well, your opponents might look at you a little funny and think you're in the wrong place, and they might be right compared to all the steel and weapons. How well does a club do? Well, with the War Crayon with 20% buff, we can see the back bash does alright. About the average damage of what I was expecting. And we can see the rapid bash to the head of the club is effective. 
that is like quite rapid. Power attack, not nearly as much. We can see that the weapon is in fact impaired by armor. Uh, then again, should we really be surprised by that? That wearing armor helps against wooden clubs. <laughs> Quite a bit, though. Though, again, you know, I'm not surprised. And I can't go through a shield, though. Well, the basic attack, no. Okay, I just need to test the power attack. Of course, the range of this weapon is a bit awful. Okay. I can... At least the power attack doesn't bounce off, but the power attack is a bit of a one-off. Let's just try the Warcry version. The repeated hits. This fight's already gone on long enough. Okay, let's try it again. So there, you can get through, but with great effort. Great effort it took to get through the shield. So maybe not big shields. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and get into the shield of the Gorga. I'm just going to bash its head in. Well... Between our two giant uh, maces here, I think his is a bit more effective, but mine will get the job done with the war cry on. <laughs> now, for the Black Knight, I'm going to run like a little bitch, because taking a, a tiny club to a giant axe is not my idea of a fair fight. But hey, it's a showcase, and I get myself hurt for the, <laughs> for the show. <laughs> Okay, his backstab still does plenty of damage if you have the war cry on. But, uh, doesn't really do too much against his shield, didn't it? Kind of like bounce it right off. His shield's not even that big. Whatever, still good enough damage. Moving on to the pros and cons of the club. Well, on the pro side, it's a very simple weapon. I'm not sure if you take that as insult if you really like this weapon or not, but it's simple. And also, it's very nimble. Yep, that's about what covers it. On the cons, it has short reach. Some of the animations are slow and not really don't provide the oomph for them. And there are certainly more complex, possibly better weapons. But still alright. But I think that does it for the pros and the cons. Going on for the score for this club, damage gets 6 out of 10. Did alright. It is a beginner weapon and it did alright. Reach though, a 3 out of 10. I wouldn't call, I'm pretty much leaning on a 2, but I think it's more of a 3. It's more like a short sword range. Animation though, it gets 7 out of 10. The clubs apparently have their own animation set. So, pretty basic looking. And, but, however, some of the animations, they are a bit slow, so it could have been better. But oh well. Still plenty of points. Bonus, though, gets 7 out of 10 as well. You got a lot of ball strength bonus out of this. <laughs> which makes uh, a little bit of sense. It's going as, only gets 4 out of 10. Despite it claiming it can go through shields, it had a hard time doing so. It has poor, the reach isn't so great. The animations really don't fit so well. Well, in terms of using against the enemy. So yes, it's just a really oddball weapon. So in total, the club gets 26 out of 50, which is still good. It's good. It's a beginner weapon, sort of. It's at least good. So to use this in Dark Souls, you have to be incredibly brave, or possibly incredibly stupid. But hey, it's really your choice. If you want to use the club and bash in the old, you know, Forgotten King's head, then go for it. <laughs> if you do it, record it, post it online. Be the victorious caveman or woman you want to be. It's your choice. But hey, that's my opinion. That's been showcased for today. I thank you guys for watching, and as always, take care. I'll see you in the next video.